yours. You know, when I think of games that I think deserve so much more recognition than what they had when released, I always have the brutal open world survival Mad Max game in mind. Over the past decade, we have had a ton of amazing games come out, literal masterpieces that have redefined gaming as a whole. We have also had boring and microtransactions filled games that will be legendary in how bad they are. Sometimes though, a truly remarkable game comes along that nobody really talks about. A game that while not 100% perfect in all the ways imaginable, it had something special. To try to summarize this story in a few short sentences, the game begins with you and your famous car, which has unfortunately been stolen and scrapped by a pretty annoying and violent faction from the Mad Max universe. You are now left to die in the middle of the desert and have to start over everything. Get some resources, find some life and get yourself a new car. That is where the survival elements of Mad Max comes in, which I absolutely love. Since this is the desert, everything is scarce and there's almost never any water, scrap and food laying around. It's not the typical survival game, you really have to search for it now. When the first step of finding water and food is done, you will be meeting new characters, one in particular that will help you throughout your whole journey of ending the many enemy factions, as well as being the most feared man in the whole desert. Mad Max isn't just an open world survival car game though, there is plenty of things you can do on foot including the combat which really reminds me of the Batman Arkham games. Oh just one thing, you're not Batman, you're just a normal guy trying to survive, but you'll get better and better at combat over time. The world itself is really well designed and has a dark ugly tone to it but in a good way. It makes you feel rather isolated and stays true to the world of Mad Max. Outposts and small enemy camps litter the vast areas and you are often tasked with destroying these camps or using your car to dismantle towers and other structures. <laughs>
As you explore, you begin to learn the finer details of all the regions available to you. Every region has something different and unique to them, but it's always the remnants of the modern world. The more time you spend in them, the more you begin to see the bones of a completely cohesive world. Mad Max Worlds is big enough to feel true to life, which isn't something you see in a lot of games. I can take him out with a sniper rifle. The what? The long shot. No, uh, I have a few rounds. Make them count. Stretch one. <laughs> You're a wizard. But the long shot is your one. Shh. I have to concentrate. Yes, of course. Of course, your wizard ship. <laughs> My sails are sealed. Stay put. Of course, of course I will. If you have to leave me here. Shoot, shoot, my target! Who you with? This game is made by Avalanche Studios, creators of the Just Cause series, and comparing the two together is almost like comparing The Witcher 3 to Fallout 76. It's just so different and so much better. The gameplay mechanics, the movements, everything feels real and I love it. Make sure you guys let me know what you think of Mad Max in the comments below and subscribe for more videos like these. Thanks to Jigglyboy and I am Legend for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only. It'll help me and the channel as a whole. Thanks for watching.